Hello there, this is Gerald Baz, GBaz Wealth Tips Creator and Founder with the Rise of the 1%. And I want to share with you today three steps to get more traffic for your brick and mortar business. Three steps to get more traffic for your brick and mortar business. But before I get into the information, I definitely want to tell you, you want to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to share with you some cool stuff at the end of this video today that's going to assist you with putting together everything that I share with you in this video. And so if you're serious about ramping up your traffic, you're serious about getting more people in your door of your brick and mortar business, or even if you have an online business, because some of the marketing strategies that I share in this video today are universal principles, so they can even work even if you're building an online business at this time, and you're looking to increase your sales, you want to stick around to the end of the video. But I don't want this video to be long, so let's dive into talking about the three steps to getting more traffic for your brick and mortar business. Step one. You want to identify your target audience. That's what you want to do. Who is your potential customer for your business? You want to get very clear on who your target audience is. You want to identify, you're going to be targeting men. Are you going to be targeting women? Are you going to be targeting men and women? What's the income range of your target audience? Are you targeting uh, the lower class, the middle class, the upper class, the affluent, the wealthy? Who are you targeting? What's the marital status? Are you targeting single people? Are you targeting married people? It's the household status of your target audience, right? Um, where are these people located at? City, state, country-wise, where are they located at, okay? Where do these people hang out at online, offline? Where are they hanging at? Where can we find these people at? So you wanna do your research on your target audience. What are some of the problems and frustrations that are occurring with your target audience. You need to be very clear on the problems, the pains, the frustrations, the struggles of your target audience. So that's step one. That's the first thing that needs to be done if you haven't done that first. And then step two, you wanna craft a high value offer for your target audience, an offer. We like to call it a lead magnet, especially when it comes to marketing on the internet, a lead magnet. And a lot of times for brick and mortar business, what I would recommend is that you create some type of VIP club. And basically for your potential customers, those in your target audience, to get access to this VIP club. And this VIP club can be discounts on your products and services if they become part of it. And for them to become part of it, they have to give you their name and email and what we call an opt-in page or a capture page online. And so now they go into your email list and now you can constantly market to them your products and services. Constantly market to them what's going on and taking place at your store and your place of business. So that is step two. Craft a high value offer, aka lead magnet, place it onto an opt-in page, start to build an email database. Step three, you have to market and advertise. Now, the first way that you can market and advertise is you can create content. It can be through video, blog posts, basically educating your target audience on your products and services. Great way to get traffic over to your website or even over to your opt-in page online is through content creation. Free traffic online. People coming online every day looking for information. So you should have the information out there educating your target audience on your products and services in your business, in your store. You can even bring more traffic into your store by doing that. And the second way you can advertise is pay for advertisement. If you want to target people locally of your store, you can run Facebook local ads, right? Facebook local ads, people within a specific radius of your store seeing your ads on Facebook as they're in those areas. And Facebook, you can get real clear in your targeting. So that's why you have to be real serious about step one, identifying your target audience because with Facebook local ads, you could target men, you could target women, men and women, you could target different age groups, different income ranges, people with different marital status. You can do all that with Facebook local ads or if you're just looking to target people all over, you just run regular Facebook advertisements. You can target people in different cities and states and even countries. If your business does some type of shipping, and it's a brick and mortar business. 
So those are the steps. Step one, you got to identify your target audience. You get more traffic over to your brick and mortar business. Step two, you need to craft a high value offer. Step three, you need to market and advertise. I hope you got some value out of this video. Feel free to share it around on Facebook, on Twitter. Anybody else you feel they can benefit, any other business owners, brick and mortar business owners. And even if you have an online business, some of these principles as well can apply to your business. Okay, so feel free to share it around, tag other people in the video who you feel can get some value out of this. Comment below if you got any value, if you got any questions out of anything that I shared. Are you currently utilizing these methods in your business at this time? Are you looking to utilize these methods moving forward in your business? I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below. Also, go over to my YouTube page, Gerald Bass. Hit the red button. Subscribe as I have more free training videos just like this over there. I'm always bringing out more content as well. And for you sticking around to the end of this video, if you're really serious about ramping up your traffic, your leads, your customers and making more money in your business without dealing with mark, uh, complicated marketing strategies, without dealing with all the diff different deadbeat tie kickers out here, people that's not serious, you're looking to attract more quality people into your business or even on your, for your business online. You're just looking to attract more quality leads for your business. So you want to go over to www.gerobaz.com slash get more leads. Again, www.gerobaz.com slash get more leads. I should have a link either below on top of this video. And you're going to get access to a training that's valued around $297. You're going to get it for absolutely free today. Okay, if I would have knew these principles a couple of years ago when I came online, I would have been a whole lot further than where I am today. And we've created a lot of success today. Matter of fact, with the principles I share in this video, not only have I been fortunate enough to generate tens of thousands of dollars through this information, I've also had other clients who've generated tens of thousands of dollars of this same information. And so I'm going to give it to you for absolutely free. That's my gift to you for sticking around to the end. All you simply have to do is go to www.gerobaz.com slash get more leads. Again, www.gerobaz.com slash get more leads. The link should be up top or below. Click the link, put your name and email in the form. No debit or credit card needed. And you'll need access to the training for absolutely free. With that said, this is Gerald Bass, G Bass Web Tips, creator and founder with the rise of the 1%. Have a phenomenal day on purpose.